Hi folks, this is a super short video to address a frequently asked question I've received many times over the years. What's the difference between a, an individual blog and a course blog? So first of all, I want to just clear up a misconception about blogs that often happens. It's that when you pick the individual blog setting, that that means that the blog is only visible to that one student. Well, unfortunately that's not the case because students can, they, they in the first instance see their own posts, but they can access other students' posts. So I'll show you this in practice in this example area that I've set up. So if I go into student preview mode, and I go into, in this case, I think I put them in assessment and grades. Yes, I did. Right, so here's an example of an individual blog and a course blog. I'm gonna show you the difference. So we'll start with the individual blog. If I click on it, now this student hasn't added any entries yet, but they would do so by clicking in the create blog entry option up here, but what I can do is go and have a look at other students' entries here. And that's part of the point of a blog, is that I could go and read someone else's entry and comment. But there are times when you don't want students to see each other's work, and if it's one of those times, then the journal tool would be much suitable for your needs. Much more suitable for your needs. Um, so that's how that works. Now you can see that everyone's posts are kind of separated into their own little areas. So each student on this blog has their own sort of little blog area where all their posts will be aggregated. So that's how an individual blog works. Let's go and have a look at the course blog now. So I say course, but this is just the terminology that Blackboard uses. Essentially, it is a module blog. So the idea of this blog is that all of the students in the module are all contributing to this, this blogging activity and we see all of their posts together in one view as a kind of stream of consciousness, if you will. So if I click on the course blog, you can see everyone's posts as shown on the same page. We only have two posts on here so far, but even in this student view, I can also just go and filter by a specific person, perhaps someone who has a similar topic as me, and we can have a little bit of uh, dialogue about the different resources they found and that kind of thing. And then I can go back to all course members view and see everyone's blog post together. So I just wanted to explain the difference. And uh, if you do need an, an option where students can't see each other's work, as I said, the journal tool is probably what you need, so I'll be running a different video about that tool or providing a different video about that tool for your use. Thanks for watching.